Okay guys, welcome to your Pisces versus all 12 signs reading for January 2024. First, we're going to take a look and see what you guys need to know for January and then we'll go into Pisces versus all 12 signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Quick note that this portion of the read is not timestamped because the messages are so quick, so short, they're not like my lives. So it's kind of not, not worth time stamping. So if someone wants to do it for me, you could feel free to do so. If someone does do it, I really appreciate it and thank you in advance. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to travel, the link for that is also in the description box below. Do all the YouTube -y stuff and support me on there too. So Pisces, Pisces, what does Pisces need to know right now? What does Pisces need to know right now? What does Pisces need to know right now? Tell me about Pisces here. What does Pisces need to know right now? What does Pisces need to know right now for January 2024? For Pisces, for Pisces, okay. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Sun. Seems like you guys are really happy with where you guys are at. If you guys are in the pursuit of happiness, I feel like there's no stopping you or that you're not allowed, you're not allowing anyone to stop you in your pursuit of happiness here. Okay, so let's see. We have the chariot cancer energy here and the five of pentacles here. Um, this is very this is a very specific message here because I think someone here is about to run into car issues here, and I feel like someone here might lose out some money here when it comes to car issues, okay? So this is something to look out for. Make sure when it comes to your car insurance, you are fully insured here, just in case something does happen okay the chair at uh, the cherry and the five of pentacles here the wheel of fortune here and the strength card here leo energy you know one of the things i'm getting here is i feel like for january i just feel like there's a lot of changes here for you especially when it comes to your own self-confidence your own power your own empowerment perhaps even your looks here too some of you guys could be upgrading your looks at this time here but you know with the wheel of fortune here i feel like things are turning in your favor or that your fortune's changing here let's say for example there is car issues here you know i do feel like your fortune i, I do feel like you know your your insurance is going to pay you out or that it, it, things are going to go in your favor here okay so the king of pentacles here not the king of pentacles the king of wands here and the queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces the sun card <coughs> and the nine of pentacles i mean if you're single here pisces there could be someone here that's finding you really 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 attractive here too with the nine of pentacles here your finances are going pretty well but i do feel like some sort of car issues will set your finances back but i feel like it's only, only going to be temporary here okay it's not really gonna last long and i feel like if it does go if it does escalate or something like that I do feel like it will go in your favor here. Okay, the Chariot here and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Five of Pentacles here and the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So um, someone here, yeah, could be making you a love offer here because someone here is viewing you as someone, uh, they view you as their happiness here. Okay, and I feel like this person is definitely like thinking, you know, kind of long term here with you. And they feel like this person could be falling in love with you here. The Wheel of Fortune here, this could be an indication that, you know, you could be working really hard. Yeah, okay. So someone here is definitely coming forward here. Someone from your past coming back around to make you some sort of offer here to apologize or something like that. I mean, this person could be coming back changed. This person could be coming back different here. This person could be coming back with more confidence, okay? So let's see, time to get the, uh, uh, the strength card here in the five of wands, okay? This might break out into a fight here because I feel like it's almost like I feel like you don't want anything to do with this person because you see this person as someone here who's very immature. This is really interesting. Very specific message for somebody here because I feel like if you're divorced and you have a children with somebody here, someone here is also not paying child support, okay? So I, I do feel like there's some issues here with someone from your past here, okay? When it comes to money, when it comes to child support. What else do we have here for 
Pisces, Pisces versus all 12 signs. Pisces versus all 12 signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. So tell me about Pisces versus Aries here. So we have the death card here and the six of cups. Um, whoever this is, I feel like this person is not okay that you ended things with this person. This person is missing you a lot. This Aries is basically missing you a lot. Um, uh, Pisces versus a Taurus here with a king, queen of wands here and a three of wands. Um, this person's definitely planning a future here with you. I feel like this person wants to go on adventures here with you, but I feel like this person's not really quite ready to commit, but I feel like it's not out of the question that you guys will be together in the future here, okay? So uh, um, uh, Pisces versus a Gemini here with the Wheel of Fortune here and the world. I do feel like between you and this Gemini, a karmic cycle is coming to a close here. This has been a long, hard karmic cycle with this individual here. You might have been caught in a karmic uh, soul connection with this individual. Um, Cancer, um, Scorp uh, no, um, Pisces versus a Cancer here with the star card here and the Fool. Um, this person sees you as the one, okay? I do feel like it's almost like an energy like, yeah, they see you as the one, but I feel like they also want to take their time to get to know you here and not rush. Sort of like just enjoy the moment, enjoy the process of getting to know you here. So I feel like that even though this person might see you as the one here, they're not really quite ready to commit yet, okay? Uh, Pisces versus a Leo here. We have that Hermit here and the, the Three of Swords. This person completely disappeared after they broke your heart here. This person's definitely like looking within themselves and, and introspecting on what the... Uh, uh, on the pain that they've caused you here. At some point, I do feel like this person will reach out with some sort of communication to apologize. Uh, Pisces versus a Virgo. We have the Eight of Cups here and the Knight of, Pentacle, uh, Knight of Pentacles. Uh, for some reason, I feel like this person's walking away from this connection here uh, because I feel like this person's more focused on their work here, if anything. Um, Pisces versus a Libra here with the Emperor here and the Nine of Pentacles here. This person finds you really attractive. This person likes that you are independent and self-sufficient here and they feel like this person's in love with you here. Uh, Pisces versus the Sagittarius here with the Ace of Wands here and the Eight of, Eight of Wands. I feel like the, um, the sex between you and this person is really good. They love it so much. Okay. Um, wait, did I, did, did I just do Sagittarius here? Or did I do Scorpio? Okay, let's do that again. Pisces versus a Scorpio. We have the Six of Swords here and the Ten of Wands. There's a lack of forward movement in this connection here. If I did Sagittarius, I'm going to do it again. Sagitt uh, Pisces versus a Sagittarius here. Sorry, I messed that up, you guys. Uh, whoever this is, I feel like this person's really guarded with their feelings here. Okay, I do feel like this person's in love with you, but I feel like this person's really guarded. Okay, um, uh, Pisces versus a Capricorn here with the Nine of Cups here and the Five of Pentacles. This person's really insecure. Okay, this person definitely sees you as their wish fulfillment here, but I feel like this person's really insecure because I feel like also this person views you as someone who's very optimistic and very happy, and I feel like this person could be the opposite of that. Okay, uh, Pisces versus a, a Aquarius here with the High Priestess here and the Five of Swords. Okay, whoever this is, I feel like this person is like not trusting you for some reason. Yeah, they, they feel like you're playing games or that they feel like you're hiding things from them. Pisces versus a Pisces here with the Page of Pentacles here and the uh, uh, the Temperance card. I feel like this person's offering an apology here because I feel like this person's also looking for your forgiveness here and looking to regain your trust here. I feel like this person broke your trust and I feel like this person's trying to regain your trust again. So Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.